Hello everyone! Welcome back to my vlog. Before anything else, I want to say thank you so much for each and every one of you who showed your support in my first vlog. Of course, to people who knew me in real life who kind of tease me that I am no unofficial vlogger. To the journal community, maybe from instagram and for those of you who found me here on youtube thank you to each and every one of you and of course to everyone who took their time to leave their lovely comments that was all heartwarming guys and i had the fun and the joy in responding to them and i'm truly truly grateful to each of you for this video, I want to show you the process of designing my journal since November is around the corner. And to make it even a little bit special, I posted on my IG story two days ago like a get to know me Q&A. And today we will be answering those questions. Questions about my life, about journaling as well. And if you're listening to this, you can also journal with me if you want i think that would be really really fun so i'm just gonna open here my planner go to november and isn't it crazy that it's already november you all i mean i think that was quick it felt like that was very quick and i think this is the last week of october the page that i'm showing you so but only three days left so i will not be able to fill out everything uh, by the way this is just how i design my planner so very simple to be honest i don't like it to be very crowded so i'm gonna keep it as that these are the stickers that i will use for my planner i got these from aesthetics.studio and this is not a promotion but i just want to quickly say that i love the designs and i love the quality and actually shout out to lawrence who chose me as one of his shop representatives this is the first time actually that i became a shop representative and it's been a joy i know i don't have big followers but to use this platform to promote local artists is really a joy for me so i'm really grateful to have this opportunity to show these designs from his shop and yeah so these are all the stickers that i will be using they are a lot so i might only use few of them actually so now i will design the monthly calendar using these stickers i use a tweezer but decided not to because it makes it even more difficult so i can just use my hands here for our first question and i think the most important question because i receive almost similar questions from five different people so first journal with bell asked me since when did you start journaling and what life event made you start it another one from tiny that engine that studio or giselle how and when did you start journaling next from capua paper or Alyssa, how did you find yourself into journaling another one from journaling with isabel why do you want to start journaling i love your spreads they are amazing and lastly from my heart journal or shahad i want to know about your journal story like when did you start what inspires you and how long have you been journaling i love these questions and i think it's a really great start well if i'm not mistaken i think i started around 2020 during the peak of the pandemic 
So I think the pandemic was really the turning point. I remember I was in college at the time and then all of a sudden life dramatically changed and it really affected me both emotionally and mentally. I think all of us were affected at the time and for me, though I wasn't exactly the outgoing type of person, but the big shift was really too much and when i realized that lockdown will not end anytime soon i knew that i had to do something to keep me sane you know so i started writing actually i tried many different hobbies i well of course the writing and then i also learned how to draw use colored pastel crayons reading books also learning calligraphy a funny story i remember crying at one point during that time because i was frustrated i ran out of pens and i couldn't get out and the markets were s- closed still so yeah i just think it was funny i was i really cried you all it was an ugly cry <laughs> It is so funny remembering it now. But out of all these habits that I tried, it was really journaling that helped me. I feel like during the pandemic, I was given time to sit through my emotions and uncover many things about me that I normally wouldn't notice in any normal day because I am busy with other things i feel like in three years of covid19 i spent most of it just reflecting my life you know i even go back all the way to when i was a kid so pandemic was really a very tough time i even got to the point that i contacted the guidance counselor of our university But it felt so inauthentic talking to someone over the phone. And I was also reaching out to my friends, but I also understood that everyone was going through many things at the time. And honestly, I'm not good at expressing myself. So it was really writing that helps me so much. And looking back now, I was already keeping a diary back then and I really found comfort in writing even as a kid. So I also used to write creative or fictional stories and poems. I think that's why writing was kind of easy for me. I like it was almost natural to me. I do understand that some people find it a little bit challenging maybe to you know sit down and write uh, i get it it can be intimidating at times but for me it was really easy for me to pour everything out through writing by the way this is now what our monthly calendar looks like kind of simple just enough stickers to make it look pretty but not too much that it is too crowded. I also write here my goals, tasks that I didn't want to forget, and also some events for that month, but I'm going to fill out more later. Now let's proceed to the first week of the month. Since the month will start on wednesday we have many space here and i'm gonna use this cute stickers to design them oh um i don't know i think i just wanted really to make it simple and not complicated so i'm gonna fill some space with stickers so yeah that was the story how i started journaling and then i think it was around 2021 that i just 
discovered this whole different world on Instagram, which is the journal community. Like, I didn't know they exist before. And also, like, when I tried to research on YouTube about journaling, that's also when I found out, oh, like, people are doing this thing, you know? And I also started to create my own Instagram and sharing a little bit of my... I don't know journaling pages as well so yeah and now we're here on YouTube <laughs> now I am just writing here my priorities or my goals for the week as you can see there my main goal is the vlog content because I try or I will try to post every Saturday and since I'm very new to this I don't want to forget that another thing I'm writing here the habit or the skills I think you guys already saw this in my first video so just the same thing devotion reading meditation I also added here the study because I that is one of my goals for the month i wanted to do 30 days of studying and also some skincare here <laughs> cleaning and also no soda so yeah these are just my habit and goals for the week so very simple guys look at that <laughs> And also, I will design another weekly page. I think it would be nice to be one week in advance, especially I have many tasks to do for November. And while I'm doing this, I want to say that you can connect with me on my Instagram account if you want. I will link it down below on the description or you can also search it, which is unsaid that stories to underscore, underscore, underscore. So please say hi. Do connect with me. I would love to chit chat with you all. I read all the comments on my previous video and I wish I could talk to you all. I noticed that some of you are here from YouTube that I didn't know on instagram so i think it would be lovely if we guys could talk another thing if you are watching this and it happens that you are from visayas here in the philippines please i hope that you can also connect with me i want to have a journal date at a cafe i've seen people done it in Luzon and some people who invited me as well but since that i'm located here in the visayas part i wasn't able to have that so i think it would be really nice if we could come together maybe share our love for journaling yeah i think that would be lovely so this is the final look of the weekly page very simple again and i'm just using here stickers again from aesthetics that studio and if you want you can actually get 10 percent off using my code so that's it now we will proceed to my devotional journal i think to some of you know this journal looks familiar this october i actually did not design the pages like this one <laughs> this is the cover page of october if you look at september this is the cover page and prior to that this is the cover page of august and going back also this but this time for october i decided not to design it and the reason behind that is because if i made this rule to myself that if i'm not in the mood to design my journal or the pages than i want because back then i noticed that 
sometimes I only design my journals because I feel like I need to and I need to make it look pretty or aesthetic for Instagram purposes and also another thing is that sometimes I need to write something but then I have to wait first because again the need to design it first so it's kind of frustrating that way and now i just made this rule for myself but this month i think after a month of just making or keeping it simple i decided to make the november look a little bit fancier i think and i will be using these stickers or ephemeras kind of i think the look that i'm that i wanted to go for is vintage so that's exactly what we're doing today anyway going back to the question so i got another question here from noella.journals she said place you want to visit po pa shout out po ate hi noella so grateful always for your support oh wait by the way i am showing you here the die cut ephemeris i cannot pick between these two. Oh man by the way i found a local shop here in the philippines that sells this die cut ephemeris i think that's what i called and i really love them so much i think this is really my vibe <laughs> so i'm just choosing between these two it's tough very tough to choose um actually normally if i don't film a video sometimes it's gonna take me a long time but of course i cannot stay here forever but anyway going back to the question honestly i would love to visit all the places here in the philippines and if i have the opportunity i would grab it you know um but the places the top of my head right now the places that i want to visit are shargao palawan I think Baguio as well and all of the historical places here in the Philippines and you also the National Museum I think I really want to go there I hope very soon so yeah but if you ask me what's my dream country I think that would be Japan <laughs> I really want to go there I, I, and I intend to I'm not sure when, but I really want to and I want to make it happen. So, yeah. But yeah, those are the places. Another question here from Is Sleeping Beauty or Rachel or Rachel? <laughs> she asks, when did you become a Christian? Well, thank you so much for asking me that question. Because now I have the opportunity to talk about my faith. Well, I became a Christian on October 25th, 2014. And it was actually my brothers who invited me to church. Then I was put into a life group. I was 14 years old at the time. And I've been a Christian for nine years now. Which is so crazy. Wow oh my gosh i'm really getting old see oh oh my god <laughs> i'm writing here the month of november and that just made me realize that two months from now it will be 2024 and then i will turn 24 on march which is crazy wow i'm really getting old <laughs> um anyway next i have three questions here from crafted project or irene she asks what do you usually do during your free time honestly i barely have free time these days because i have a full-time job and then another part-time job so yeah these days are very busy but if i do i will definitely spend it on journaling or reading a book or sometimes i will take myself out on a date or a coffee date 
now this is the final look of the cover page i'm not sure if i like them very much but i don't know you guys let me know <laughs> next we will design my writing journal <laughs> my room is so or my table is so messy right now but yeah another question from irene she asks how old are you well i am 23 years old and she asked me to go out on a journal date at a cafe which i was very excited about then we talk and it turns out we are so far away from each other some people have asked me out on a journal date and it's always so heartbreaking kasi ang layo nila <laughs> so this is my writing journal one issue that i have with this journal is it does not lay perfectly so using this has been a struggle but i tried not to pay too much attention on it and um, for this journal i kind of going for like a botanical vibe or garden vibe i don't know but yeah or camping actually so that's the theme that i'm going for for the last question we have here from midnight coffee she asked something you are proud of about yourself and a pet peeve the first question is deep I think something that I am most proud of myself is learning to be comfortable with myself and actually loving myself. I grew up to be a very shy and awkward kid and in some ways I still am. But I used to beat myself up for being not the person that others expected of me but now i really learn to accept who i am all the good and especially the bad i mean of course there are still low moments but compared before i think i've gotten better now and yeah you know loving myself my emotions and my body that has always been very hard for me but yeah i'm really glad oh god i'm gonna get emotional talking about that but yeah so many things to be grateful for but this is at the top of my head right now and for the pet peeve i don't think i have but i have to think about it first anyway this is the final look of my journal i'm using here the pen that a very good friend gave me and uh, i hope that you guys enjoyed what this video looks like and you've come this far i just wanted to say thank you so much for spending your time with me and now that you know some things about me i would also love it if you could comment down below a little bit of introduction or maybe also answer the question how did you find your way to journaling and i would love to interact with you all and yeah please do take care of yourself i'll see you soon thank you bye